Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's case I'm going to be talking to you about is the Dawson murder case. So the Dawson family, a family of seven, which parents Carnell and Angela and five children were all murdered in Baltimore and this was in Maryland in the US. On October the 16th 2002 after Angela had repeatedly alerted the police to a drug dealing assault and other crimes in her East Baltimore neighborhood. And this was of Oliver. The entire family was killed when they had the house been firebombed. A neighbor called Darrell L. Brooks pleaded guilty to the crimes and was given a life sentence without the possibility of parole. And this was at the time of the attack. Brooks was on probation but had been left unsupervised. After repeated vandalism of their home, the Dawson's survived a first arson attempt on October the 3rd, 2002, only to succumb to the second. The outcry over the magnitude of the crime was only matched by the frustration of expressed by many residents who had simply could not believe that the city officials who were away of this escalating violence had been unable to protect the family. City officials defended their actions, saying offer to re relocate the family had been refused. The tragedy had underscored the failure in attempts to encourage the residents of Baltimore to stand up to the drug dealing and of the city to provide protection to all those who did. In 2005, Relatives of the Dawson family filed suit against the city, the state and various different agencies. They alleged that despite the launch of the Believe campaign in 2002, which encouraged residents to supply information about drug dealers, there are insufficient resources to protect the witnesses who did come forward. The lawsuit was later dismissed a ruling which was later upheld in an appeal, and this was to the Maryland Court of Appeals. Numerous efforts to reclaim and rebuild Oliver in the name of Dawson family had been undertaken by politicians, activists, ordinary citizens, mayor, and later governor of Maryland. Martin O'Malley, the US rep, Elijah Cummins, State Senator Nathaniel McFadden, and the action group known as the Baltimoreans, the United in the Leadership Development called BUILD, have worked in individual and collective ways to ensure the Dawson family a lasting public memory. The house where the Dawsons had died had reopened in April 2007 and this was as the Dawson Safe Haven Community Centre. Okay everyone, so that was the Dawson's murder case. If you enjoyed that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you again next time. Take care, bye-bye.